So I just got this box out of my mailbox and inside it is watch bands for the Apple Watch. I got these for like $2.24 each from a site called Timu. If you haven't heard about it, it's a website that you can buy stuff super cheap from. Quality is questionable, <laughs> so we'll see how good these bands are. Let's go ahead, get it open, and just check out these bands. So, first case, these bands do not look all that good. They don't look as good as they did in their pictures, so keep that in mind. The reason why I bought these is because they kind of reminded me of the No Bad bands, which are like $60 each, but obviously the quality is not gonna be the same. Let's go ahead and open one of these up. Ugh, fully rubber. You can even see there's like some excess plastic kind of right there from where I guess they just didn't cut it well enough. Came right off, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe on the watch it won't look as bad. So let's go ahead and put it on the watch and just see how it matches. The oranges don't really match that well. So overall, I will say, I mean, it doesn't look awful. I don't like the look of that. I believe the one from Nomad isn't black. And especially on this orange band, it kind of stands out even more. Not a big fan of that. But overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. Like it feels okay on the wrist. If you take a look at all of them together, I personally think this one looks the best just because that black hardware with the darker color looks better. So this one I think would look better with a little lighter hardware and this one definitely would. Like this one looks really cool and I think this one would look really good on the Apple Watch Ultra. So this one does not lock in place. Now, when you're working with third party bands, even some Apple bands, I've had problems with that before. All right, so now it has locked. It just took a little bit extra to get it. Okay, so I definitely cannot recommend these bands. This side, is holding really well. Like I'm not having any problems with this one. It's not coming out. This one right here, it will lock into place. It takes a little bit to get it to lock. Looks like the little nubs kind of messed up. So it's not pushing down on the lock very well. Of course that happens with the band that looks the best with the watch. Sadly, I can't recommend these bands at all because if you can't rely on a band to hold your watch on your wrist, it's just not worth it. Whether it's $2, $30, whatever the cost, it's worth spending the extra money just to make sure that you're not gonna break your watch. With these bands, I was kind of hoping to find a diamond in the rough. My diamond in the rough. But that just wasn't the case because this is definitely a you get what you pay for. Now, if you like me trying out different Timu bands, I did already order another one that is coming that I paid 74 cents for. So if you want to see that video, leave a comment down below. But if you're still in the market for a band and you want one that you can rely on, I got a video right here that you can watch. I'll see you all over there. I hope you have a great one. God bless.